Hi, I'm Scott Stein, and what do I have on my wrist? Well, this is one of two new Android Wear watches, which are available for order now. This is Google's entry into wearable tech on the wrist. And the LG G Watch is one of three. There's also the Samsung Gear Live and the Moto 360. But the Samsung and the LG ones are the only two available right now. The Moto one is going to be later in the summer. So what is the difference between these two, and what do they do? The LG G Watch is the more expensive. It's 229 and it's got a 280 by 280 IPS LCD screen. It's a square screen, and it's got a comfy watch band. It's like a silicone rubber type of band, so you attach it like a regular watch band. It actually has a very comfortable feel, very nice sleek materials, glass on top and metal in the middle, black or white. And it uses Android Wear. What is that exactly? Well, we don't even really know because what we've been told is not exactly what it's going to become. Right now, it's basically Google services. You're going to talk to your wrist, or you're going to swipe through notifications, which come up like cards, a lot like Google Now if you use an Android phone. So if you want to quickly ask it, who's the 12th president of the United States, or where can I get pizza around here, or where's the Moscone Center, it'll pop up something really quick. You can also check the weather, and it will also send notifications to you from all the places that you get notifications. If you have a Pebble watch, or if you manage notifications, or you have another smart device, you already know what that's about. So it'll get things from Twitter, Facebook, uh, your emails, and it can get kind of crazy, but you can also manage that back on an Android Wear app that runs on your phone. This only runs as a companion to Android phones. Android 4.3 or above, there's a whole list of compatibilities. You have to have Bluetooth 4.0, and there's a little bit of storage on this watch. Four gigs, and there's five 12 megabytes of RAM. Unclear what that means in terms of how it'll run apps. And there will be apps. A number of Android apps are going to run and then load onto this Android Wear watch once they're available. There aren't really any right now. There are also moments where I can look at something on the watch or search for something and then press a button and bring it up on my phone if I want to read more. So it's meant to be kind of a companion app uh, experience between the watch and the phone. The LG G watch is also IP67 water resistant. It's the same type of water resistance that you would see on things like Samsung's gear watches. Battery life, right now, it's hard to tell, but it's got a 400 milliamp battery and it's getting about a day of use. Stay tuned for full battery tests, but that's certainly less than other watches out there, and it means you're gonna need to charge this thing pretty much every day. That's if you keep the screen on all the time. It goes into sort of a power-saving dimming mode, but you can also have that screen turn off altogether uh, after you've been using it for a few seconds. And there are no buttons on this. You've got to tap the screen, or you've got to activate it or talk to it, so it gets a little disconcerting. No way to figure out how you can override that with a button. So what else do you get in the box? You get this watch. You also get a little magnetic charging cradle uh, that is micro USB and the plug. And the plug's in here pretty nicely has sticky kind of gel on the bottom, so it'll stick to a table and allow you to put that by your nightstand and charge it. The LG G watch actually feels better than it looks, and it's one of the thinner of the Android Wear watches, but at this point, early Android Wear software, and there are more Android Wear watches to come, at least the Moto 360, probably more, so stay tuned and see what's coming. There are gonna be a lot of these things, and we're gonna have to see what the apps feel like, too. I'm Scott Stein, and that's a look at Android Wear on the LG G watch.